the U.S. Air Force plans to deploy laser weapons on fighter jets by the mid-2020s. The service is placing its bets on a new system named TALWS. TALWS, or Tactical Airborne Laser Weapon System, is a pod-mounted laser being developed by defense contractor Lockheed Martin on behalf of the Air Force Research Laboratory. The pod-mounted laser will protect fighters from incoming missiles. Viewers may note that Mark Steffen, business development lead for strategic technology development at Lockheed Martin's Missiles and Fire Control Division, has stated recently, We are committed to putting a laser pod equipped with a high-energy laser in the air within five years. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how U.S. Air Force will have an unprecedented edge with tactical airborne laser weapon system. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Near-peer rivals of the United States, like Russia and China, are putting in large amounts of efforts to deploy anti-access area denial A2AD, systems and covering themselves with sophisticated air defense weapons. One of the prime examples is the Russian S-400 surface-to-air missile system. S-400 is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau in the 1990s as an upgrade of the S-300 family. It's been in service with the Russian Armed Forces since 2007. It's designed to defend against aircraft, including fifth-generation stealth fighters, bombers, AWACS, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. It's considered one of the most powerful air defense systems in the world. The radars of S-400 have a range of around 600 kilometers or around 370 miles. The main radar is complemented by target acquisition radars, some of which are touted to have the ability to detect stealth aircraft. S-400 deploys multiple missiles to cover its strike envelope and can hit targets at a range of up to 400 kilometers or 250 miles. Interestingly, China has bought the system from Russia. U.S. Air Force as well as American allies have large fleets of fourth-generation fighter planes. Some countries are using American fighters as is, like Saudi Arabia. Some have customized versions, like Japan and Israel, whereas others have developed their own jets, like France. These jets were not designed to be stealthy and have fairly large radar cross-section RCS, which makes them vulnerable to a potent air defense system like the S-400. The threat perception can be judged from the fact that even Israel, which has one of the most well-equipped air forces in the world, has made high-level requests to Russia not to provide S-300 to Syria. Viewers may note that the S-300 is a generation-old platform compared to S-400. Technically, S-400 makes large parts of the air fleet of not only the U.S., but also of its allies obsolete. Also, modern air-to-air -air missiles are getting extremely efficient. Currently, fighter jets are limited to passive defenses against incoming missiles. Pilots can take high-G evasive maneuvers to shake the missile off its back, fire flares to distract an infrared missile seeker, or launch strips of aluminum foil, known as chaff, to confuse a missile guided by radar. But these methods are not very dependable against modern missiles. For example, the Meteor missile developed by MBDA has a range of 150 kilometers or 93 miles. It's capable of engaging fast, agile jets to small, unmanned aerial vehicles, as well as cruise missiles in extreme weather conditions. Meteor has excellent aerodynamics and propulsion performance, 
enabling it to pull off intense turn angles while pursuing an agile target like a modern super maneuverable fighter. The missile has a no escape zone of 60 kilometers or about 38 miles. Clearly, passive defense system will not be adequate. TALWS will provide fighter jets with an active defense. Lasers are concentrated beams of light that transmit large amounts of electromagnetic radiation against their targets. The power of a laser is generally stated in kilowatts. The general idea of laser beam weaponry is to hit a target with a train of brief pulses of light. The rapid evaporation and expansion on the surface cause shockwaves that damage the target. TALWS is designed to be mounted externally. Mounted on the fuselage or wing of a fighter jet, TALWS could be employed to shoot down incoming air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missiles. TALWS will be an excellent addition to fourth-generation fighters like F-15E, F-15C, and the new F-15EX Eagle fighters, F-16 Fighting Falcons, as well as A-10C Warthog. It could be paired with existing chaff and flares defenses, and this will significantly improve the defensive capability of a fighter jet. Since TALWS will be fitted externally, the system will not be a good fit for fifth-generation fighters like F-22 Raptor or F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, as the pod will degrade the stealthy contours of the external structure, which is designed to deflect signals away from the emitting radar. But having said this, it's to be noted that radars capable of detecting contemporary crop of stealth jets are being developed and when they mature, TALWS may have to be deployed even in fifth generation jets. Fighters armed with TALWS could also be used to protect bombers like B-52 Stratofortress as well as aerial refueling aircraft that have high RCS and don't have the agility to dodge a modern incoming missile. Lasers have some very important advantages. The speed of light enables them to hit their targets almost instantaneously. Laser weapons also don't need to carry ammunition like traditional systems and hence they'll be able to take out a much larger number of threats constrained only by the power supply limit of the platform. This is pretty significant since the fighter will not run out of ammunition when encountering a large number of incoming threats. Lasers are silent and invisible, which makes them very much suitable for use. They are also so much cheaper. A laser can be powered by the airplane's engine and could cost as low as $3.50 per interception. This is very cost-effective compared to conventional weapons. The American military has been interested in laser weapons for a long time. In 2010, the Air Force mounted and fired off a megawatt-class chemical laser from a modified Boeing 747. Things have changed since then, and instead of unstable chemical laser used for that experiment, solid-state lasers are now being used. Another test with LAWS was conducted in 2014. Laser Weapon System, or LAWS, is a directed energy weapon developed by the United States Navy. It will act as a short-range self-defense system against drones and boats. On April 23, 2019, the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL, Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator Shield, Advanced Technology Demonstration ATD, program successfully achieved a major goal. A laser developed as part of the program has shot down several air-launched missiles in flight. There is still a complex technical challenge to miniaturize the laser system so that it can be fitted on military aircraft. But with constant funding and efforts being made, things are expected to fall in place slowly. TALWS will most likely pave the way for such systems. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.